Hey guys, it's Nathan here from Taser PC Gaming Community, and welcome to a Taser tutorial. This is a new section for our channel. Uh, it's a section that I used to do quite a lot when I um, used to run the Call of Duty clan, but I haven't really done since then, and uh, just recently I've had a few requests to do a few more tutorials. So today we're going to be doing a revamp of my original Camtasia Studio uh, recording software and editing software. Uh, tutorials. I did a series on these ages ago and never really got around to finishing them so I thought now I've got a better knowledge of using Camtasia that I might start again. Um, that being said uh, I have no idea how to start this off really. Um, I'm going to try and show you the basics at the same time as not being too patronizing so I'm going to kind of assume that you guys who are watching this have a basic knowledge of video editing. Uh, I will be going over the very basic stuff as well, but I won't be going into too much detail in it, if that makes sense. Um, so to start off, um, we're going to learn how to import a video into Camtasia. Pretty obvious, the import media button up here. Uh, you just click that and you can find a file of yours that is compatible with Camtasia. Now there are some file types that aren't compatible with Camtasia and and I'm sorry I don't know exactly what file types they are. I know I've come across a few of them but I don't remember exactly what they were. Um, I tend to use Windows Media Player um, file format which is WMV. Uh, you can use MP4s and you can use AVIs. I have come across MP4s that don't work and I have come across AVIs that don't work. Uh, so I tend to stick with WMV. Um, most file formats I've come across do work in this, um, so you should be fine for the most part. It's pretty easy, you just double click on the file you want to put into Camtasia or click the open there once you've clicked on it and it will drag it into there. I've already done this so I'm not going to do that and uh, show you again. Um, and to get this onto the timeline you just click on it and drag it down to track 1 down here. As close to the end as possible because that's where the start of your video is. Uh, it will ask you then, when you put your first clip in, what size you would like the video to be. Uh, it's come up as 854 by 480 as default for some reason. Um, I'm going to change it to YouTube and Screencast, which is 1280 by 720, so 720p. If you wanted to change this to 1080p, you can um, edit these. So I could just put in um, 1920, and it should change to 1080, which it does. If it doesn't, then you can untick keep aspect ratio and just type in yourself so that it says that and then it will be 1080p. Uh, but for now I'm just going to stick with the YouTube screencast. Uh, if you change your mind halfway through a video, which I wouldn't recommend you doing, um, you should decide at the beginning because if you do it's going to fuck up everything else in your video. Uh, you can then go up here, edit the dimensions and it will come up with that box again and you can just change it. You can also change your background colour as well, so if you wanted to have your background showing through for any reason, or at some point it's going to show through, you can change it to whatever colour you like. Um, nice green. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so whatever colour you like. I tend to stick with black just because I think it looks more professional, uh, but it's totally up to you what you want to do with your videos. So, okay, that's fine. Uh, now there is a small gap here. Um, at the beginning of the timeline. So what I'm going to do is just click on this and then drag it to the very start so that there's no gap there. That means that as soon as the uh, play button's pressed and the timeline scroller starts moving, it will start the video right at the beginning. If I wanted a slight delay at the beginning and maybe like a fade in, I didn't want it to start straight away, I could just get a transition, which is this bit here, and drag fade onto the beginning. And you'll see as you drag the transition down, it highlights the ends yellow. So you know where you could put transitions. Uh, so you could put one there. And with transitions, you can stretch these out a little bit as well. So you wanted to stretch them out longer, you could. So that means that it would take a long time to fade into the video. Like that. Uh, or you could have it shorter. So it will fade in very, very quickly, like so, or uh, maybe somewhere in between. Like that. So you can mess about with trans transitions. So you can mess about with transitions and find ones that you like. Uh, I don't tend to like having transitions at the beginning of a video. I used to do them a very, very long time ago and they're a bit of an outdated 
uh, format now so I tend to just have the video start especially seeing as it's going on YouTube uh, you kind of want it to just start and people want to get into the video straight away I do tend to put intros on my videos which I will show you in a little bit um, but it depends you need to keep the the intro very very short mine's 20 seconds long which is probably quite long for a, a YouTube intro um, but I like them I think it makes the video look a bit more professional but again it's down to personal taste that's totally your choice whether you want to do that um, but I like it like this so it just starts from the off okay so that's how you drag your clip into the timeline and how you start it playing etc uh, if you want to skip back to the beginning you can click those but that will just skip back to say for example I had this I'll just copy and paste another one in here say for example I had another one here and I was here and I wanted to skip back to the beginning if I press previous clip as you can tell from the name it does just go back to the, the beginning of the clip if you press it again it would go back to the beginning of that one so I don't tend to use those buttons I tend to just move this along it's a lot easier and quicker um, so okay so that's the basics of getting it into the timeline and how you start the video and the basics of transitions um, if I wanted to start cutting this video up it's really easy you know it's not difficult at all you just move the slider where you want to cut it so say we want to cut the seals in half um, we can cut the seals in half by clicking this button here which is split now you need to make sure that before you split it uh, the the clip you want to split is highlighted blue like so if it's like this and I press split it's not going to do anything at all uh, so I need to click that one there and it will split it in half uh, if I had two clips, because obviously you can have more than one track, you've got track one and track two here, so you can have, um, let's go paste again, you can have another track above it, so you can have these playing at the same time, which sounds awesome. Do the same. <laughs> um, uh, say for example I wanted to cut this one in half, um, you would not do this, you would not drag a box out like so, highlight them both. Um, or click and then control click you wouldn't highlight them both because then when you split them it's going to split them both uh, what you want to do in that case is just click on the one you want to split and split it and it will just split that one so that's that um, and again if you wanted to um, stick another clip on that one you could do that and you can have transitions in between so maybe fade uh, in fact we had fade last time should we do something different um, let's do flip so you could have it like that so it starts changes to the next one and that's how you do basic transitions and basic video editing okay now the best way of video editing is to find places in the video that are going to make the video professional so say for example um, let's watch this video quickly uh, I wanted to go from Okay, yes, yeah. so let's say I wanted to go from the horses, uh, but I didn't want to go to birds next. I wanted to go from horses directly to something else. Uh, I would move the slider along. If you can see, it changes the picture as I move the slider along. I'd move the slider along to the end of the horses, just so to the left to the end. There we go. And uh, then I would make sure this was highlighted, and I would click Split. Now, we've got that horsey clip here. That one in my hand here is the horsey clip. Um, then what should we go for? What should we have it go to next? Uh, yeah, let's go with the, let's go with the birds. Let's go with the birds. That sounds good. Okay, so we we again cut that bit out, and let's get the birds. the bird clip again so this one here is the bird clip so we put that next to the horse clip and we'll see what that looks like see now there was a jump in the audio there which is not very professional uh, most people want it to blend in with music so if you decide to change the video and it's already got music on it that's going to be a problem because as soon as you cut and stick one part of that clip to another part of that clip the audio is going to cut and stick too which means it's going to sound strange when it when it changes over so what you need to do in that case uh, is mute 
the video. So you go to audio and silence. Now you'll notice there is no audio on this whatsoever. Okay, the audio is now gone. What I would then do, because the way that the timeline works is the bottom is the bottom layer. The top is the top layer. So the higher up you are, you made it like a stack of pictures. If you had a stack of pictures, this track one is at the bottom. Track three is at the top. Uh, so this is the top of the pile. This is going to be on top of this one. If I wanted to get the audio running nicely and smoothly, what I can do is paste in the other, another clip of the um, whole video and just put it underneath the other one. So if you're in a hurry and you haven't got time to kind of mess about with it, so it's really, really nice, you could just do this. And as you can see, there was no horrible jump in the audio then. Um, but if you want to go one step further and go a bit more professional, what you can do is right click on this tile here and it will say separate video and audio. Now you can separate video and audio and then just get rid of the visual, so delete it, and then you've got all the audio with no video here, like so. Uh, and then you've got your nice video with the music looking very nice. Uh, to make it look a little bit more professional, um, you can add a transition in the middle maybe, so that when it goes from the horses to the birds, there's a little bit of a transition. Uh, let's go with the glow this time, let's see what that looks like. No, I don't like that one. Let's change it to something else. Uh, how about the gradient wipe? That was a nice one. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. That's quite nice. Uh, and basically, to create the video, you just repeat that throughout. If you want to make it even easier to edit, rather than having lots and lots of tiles, once you've got to this stage, what you can do is highlight the whole lot and then right-click on it, and you'll see the option that says Group. And you can group them together, and that makes one clip. So, and then you just repeat. So you can just repeat that over and over and over so you've got a video that uh, is done. Okay, and that's the basics of editing in Camtasia. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please leave it a like. Uh, I will be doing a few more of these because I do understand that this is a very, very quick snippet into how to edit in Camtasia. Um, there's a lot more to show you. But I just wanted to go through the very, very basics of how to get a video into the timeline, how to edit it, how to add a transition, uh, and how to group. It's very, very basic. We will go into more complex stuff as we go on. But otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.